Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler. Short tip Saturday video for you today. No, I'm not going to be teaching you how to make a shallow water anchor, but I am going to show you a quick and easy method to make something to connect your shallow water anchor to your boat whenever you're staking out. So stick around. All right guys, like I said, I'm not gonna be showing you how to build a shallow water anchor today, but what I am gonna show you is a way to tether this to your boat. And uh, I've seen a bunch of different methods of doing it. There's all kinds of different methods, but I made something very, very simple. Let me grab it real quick. All right guys, there's our tether point. Extremely simple to make. I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. All right guys, constructed the tether for the shallow water anchor. Doesn't require a lot of parts. You're gonna need some paracord. You're going to need a steel ring. This one is a inch and a quarter inside diameter. What you're gonna to do to start out, find the end of your paracord. You'll bring that through. And then what I do is just take and start wrapping. It's about five turns, pass it back through. Pull that. Now you want to pull that as tight as you can get it. So guys, I'm going to take this off camera for a second, get this really pulled tight. All right, I've got that cinched down pretty good. We're going to be tying another one of these, but before we can do it, this is where it becomes specific to your boat. So let me move the camera and we'll show you what, what I'm talking about here. All right, guys, what I found is that the shallow water anchors work better the less amount of play that they have. So that being said, I want this pin to just barely clear the rub rail of my boat, maybe by an inch. So to try to get the good idea of how long a paracord we need, I'm doubling up the paracord, passing it through the cleat, bring it around both ears, and I can adjust that in and out. So about right there, would be the perfect length for my tether. I'm gonna mark that there. I'm gonna give myself an extra, you know, eight, 10 inches here to uh, tie my knot. So we'll go ahead and cut that paracord. And because it's paracord and it doesn't cut good no matter what you have, it's a good idea to have a torch handy or a cigarette lighter. Just kind of melt the ends of that paracord All right, now that that's good and cool, we can take, once again, get your, how far you want to come out figured up. Fold your paracord over at that location. We're gonna do another knot. Get that pulled tight. All right, guys, one of the things I like to do when I, when I deploy these is to take and put those knots at about a 90 degree angle to your ring. That allows it to sit off the side of your boat and sit out flat. I'm gonna show you why, let me pan back. It's just to make it easier to get your shallow water anchor pin through the ring. All you'd have to do from standing inside the boat Drop it straight down through the ring, and then you'd be connected to your tether. All right, guys, that's about all I have for this one. These tethers make these shallow water pen style anchors extremely easy to use, and they really limit the amount of movement that your boat has if you tie these up correctly. Guys, it don't take a whole lot to make them. You can have, have a couple of them built in about five minutes. Throw them in your boat, keep them with your shallow water anchors, and it's really going to improve the uh, experience you have with these things so guys as always i want to thank you for watching my videos and guys if you have an idea for short tip saturday something you'd like to see me cover please leave it down in the comment section below and you might get to see your name and tip used in an upcoming video guys i'm gonna wrap everything up here hope you've enjoyed this video until next time we'll catch you out on the water
appreciate you watching the weekend angle